Hey there, I'm Stefan Kesting, and this is the Strenuous Life Podcast. Hey guys, just a quick little tip for you today. I put this out in article form initially on my site, and then it got a ton of traction on Reddit, so I'm guessing it's going to be useful to a certain percentage of people listening. It's about finishing chokes and about making chokes work. Think of all the grappling you've ever done. And think about the number of times that you were busy trying to choke someone, you had a triangle choke locked on, you had a collar choke locked on, you had the head and arm choke locked on, and you're squeezing, and you're squeezing, and you're squeezing, and finally say, screw it, and you let the whole thing go. And the guy turns to you and says, man, I was so close to tapping. Or alternately, the times that you've been caught in a choke and you had no technical way out at all. You were completely screwed. And all you did was hunker down, try and breathe, try and shrug your shoulders a little bit, and try and wait the guy out, hope that he gets bored, gets tired, and goes away. It's crazy how often that defense works. It's crazy how often people abandon a choke before it's had the chance to work. Because some chokes are fast. If you put a 10-finger guillotine with a thumb right on the trachea and you squeeze in, or the Marcellotine, or some variations of the Bravo choke, it's really painful, and it either works or it doesn't. And in that way, those kind of pain chokes, they're more like joint locks. They're either on or they're off. But there's a whole bunch of chokes that are more slow acting, the ones that slowly, slowly put someone to sleep. Most of the time, these are blood chokes. They're things like triangle chokes that are on, but not exactly on. There are things like head and arm chokes that are on, but you can resist them a little bit, and it's just a question of tiring the person out. Some types of collar chokes are also not very painful, but it just takes a time. So, there's a tip that I got from my friend and sometimes video collaborator, Elliot Baev. And his tip is once you apply the choke, squeeze it, hold it, and slowly count to 10. Give that choke time to work. If you start counting to 10, it does a number of different things. It gives the choke actually time to start working. It gives it time to cut off the air or more likely cut off the blood and allow that deficit to start building up. It also allows your opponent the time he needs to lose hope that you're going to give up and go away. Remember what we said initially, one of the defenses to a choke is just to hunker down, suffer through it as best you can and hope that your opponent gets bored. Well, if you slowly count to 10, your opponent's going to start giving up hope that you're going to get bored and that you're going to go away. Another important thing that counting to 10 does is it reinforces in your mind that you shouldn't go 100% on your choke. Imagine if you've got some kind of collar choke, some kind of lapel choke, and you're just reefing it. You're just pulling as hard as you possibly can. If it works, great. But if it doesn't work, your fingers are going to be jello. You are going to be fighting with flippers. I have been there. It's a terrible feeling halfway through a match in a tournament to absolutely have no strength left in your hands. It's a terrible feeling. It's like the time that my brother took me rock climbing right before I went and visited a friendly jiu-jitsu school, but it was a jiu-jitsu school I'd never been at. My brother just absolutely burned out my grip. Zero grip left after rock climbing. And now I'm supposed to spar all these guys. Now I'm supposed to go with people who are interested to see if they can tap out the big bad purple belt or the big bad brown belt. I forget what I was at the time. And so there are people going pretty hard. And I just had zero grip left. So don't do that to yourself. Don't squeeze 100% on the choke unless there's like 10 seconds left in the match. Then great, leave it all on the mat. But in general, you only want to squeeze 75, 80 85%. You only want to go as hard as you know that you can come back from. And counting to 10 is a good way to make sure that you're not going to go so hard that you're not going to have anything left. So there are a whole lot of articles and videos and other tips about choking. So one thing you can do, if you go to grapplearts.com slash articles or even just grapplearts.com, there's a search bar at the top. It says, search the Grapple Arts website. If you go there and you type in the kind of choke that you're working on, 
or you want to type in choke mechanics or tighter choke, you'll probably get a whole bunch of additional tips, additional answers that'll help you with your choking game or really any aspect of your jiu-jitsu game. So use that search bar. It's a really useful function, man. I use it for searching my own website when I'm trying to find an article to share with people. If somebody asks me a question, I'm like, you know, I know I wrote something. I know I said something on this topic before, but I have no way to know where it is. I use my own search bar. So if I use my own search bar, you should give it a go too. All right? Choke someone, get your grips, count to 10 slowly, see how that works for you. Take care and good luck with your training. In addition to these podcasts, I also put out a regular newsletter on training. It's very, very jiu-jitsu centered. It's a ton of in-depth information about different aspects, different techniques, different tricks, different tactics, different training methods around jiu-jitsu, ground fighting, no-gi grappling, and even MMA a little bit. So if you go to grapplearts.com forward slash newsletter, you can sign up for free. If you don't like what you get, there's an unsubscribe button at the bottom of every single email you're ever going to get. We'll part as friends, no harm done, you tried it out. But I get a lot of feedback from people saying that they found these emails super useful in their training, even a little bit inspirational. So go to grapplearts.com slash newsletter and try it out. It's completely free. It always will be. There's no obligation. It's really easy to leave if you don't like what I give you, all right? Check it out. Take care. Good luck with your training.